Hello, and thank you for joining us at XM.com for this Forex preview video. The Federal Reserve meets on Wednesday. We'll be taking a look at this upcoming policy meeting and, of course, the market reaction in the U.S. dollar. I'm Cristina Marujos. Joining me today is investment analyst Cristina Bertinidu. Cristina, U.S. inflation came in hot on Friday despite market expectations of inflation peaking. Now, the Fed has well telegraphed 250 basis point rate hikes for the summer, but given the strong inflation percentage, how could that change the central bank's future policy? Uh, hi, Christina. That's right. Obviously, uh, it appears that there is no immediate relief from inflation inside, as some analysts expected to see in uh, May CPI report last week. Uh, U.S. inflation reached a new 40-year high, the highest since 1981, actually, um, at 8.6 percent year on year. Uh, While well, the core measure, which excludes food and energy prices, has uh, stabilized a bit at 6 percent. I uh, thought that is way above the central bank's uh, symmetrical 2% target, and even the monthly uh, change was one of the fastest in a while at 1%. So apparently the Fed uh, looks to be behind its curve, and uh, theoretically it will need to hike rates at a more aggressive pace uh, to balance inflation. Uh, the guidance from the previous uh, policy meeting is uh, for a 50 basis point this month and in July. Um, but uh, given the persisting inflation pressures, which could dangerously spread in other sectors as well, besides energy and food uh, sectors and uh, as the resilience in the U.S. consumption, as well as uh, the tight labor market. Uh, well, uh, given all those facts, investors have uh, become uh, more convinced in just a few days that uh, the Fed will deliver a 75 basis point uh, rate hike this month uh, and also in July. So uh, that's almost uh, well priced. That's almost uh, fully priced in. Um, and uh, they also expect the central bank to switch back to a 50, back to 50 basis point rate increases in September and November, which uh, are which uh, those odds are still elevated from uh, previous expectations. Uh, well, uh, the dot plot will of course reveal uh, whether policymakers are also uh, favoring such uh, big rate increases in the coming months. Um, it will need to, uh, well, but. Uh, but overall, I think the Fed will need to uh, will need a great excuse to explain uh, such an action. Perhaps it will need to become more confident that uh, the economy can absorb a way a faster monetary tightening uh, without causing a severe economic recession. Uh, well, Powell has already admitted that the central that uh, the central bank's tightening policy will come with uh, some cost, likely uh, with uh, a higher unemployment rate probably and uh, a growth slowdown. But at the same time. Uh, he was optimistic that any potential downturn would uh, be soft and the U.S. could escape uh, the scenario of a severe recession that some analysts uh, are afraid of. So uh, it will be interesting to see if the Fed will listen to investors and deliver a, a sharper 75 uh, basis point rate increase this week and in July, or whether it will stick to its plan and move forward with uh, a 50 basis point rate increase in the coming months as it previously pledged. Also, whether it will change uh, course after September's uh, meeting uh, could be another crucial uh, question for the Fed chief. Well, definitely the inflation report out on Friday changed the narrative for market participants, at least. It remains to be seen how policymakers will tackle with that issue. Let's turn to the market reaction now. What's the outlook for the dollar this week? Uh, well, I think that's a very challenging question at the moment. As we mentioned, markets are already fully pricing in a supersized rate hike in June and July, so such a move may not um, affect the dollar much. Uh, investors have already reacted to such a scenario, pressing the dollar higher, and uh, stock markets are lower on Friday. But as we said uh, before, uh, the Fed will need a good excuse for that without further scaring uh, stock markets. So it should uh, somewhat remain optimistic uh, uh, on the economy in this case. However, if the Fed suddenly appears uh, more concerned about uh, the economy and uh, a potential economic downturn, uh, raising interest rates by only 50 basis points, uh, that could be uh, dollar negative, of course. Uh, currently, dollar yen is facing uh, strong resistance at 134.26. So, in this case, um, in the bearish case, a dollar yen may pull below that uh, bar. Otherwise, uh, if the bullish scenario takes place instead, um, with the Fed remaining optimistic uh, for uh, the economy and also signaling uh, sharper rate increases in the coming months, uh, the pair may even accelerate uh, towards the 137 region. Christina, thank you for joining me today and thank you for watching this Forex preview at XM.com.